What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to make a quick video about soft closes. I'm gonna go over my strategy here uh, with Tinder and how it applies to going for the quick number close versus doing it the proper way as I normally instruct with soft closes. So I had the occasion to do my first super boost ever. Uh, for those of you that don't know, a super boost on Tinder costs 40 bucks and it gives you a 100x exposure rate and I did it, I think it like, it goes on for three hours, it's fucking crazy. I did it at like maybe 7 p.m. on a weeknight. And, or no, I did it, I think I did it at like 9 p.m. Yeah, because it, it was a chick had just left and some other chick canceled or something like that and I had like the rest of the night available and I think I did it from like 9 to 12. You're literally like doing it for like three hours. It was total insanity, I got over 100 matches but in, in that three hours. But what's cool is, um, like in Brazil, I think I have almost like 500 matches right now in like a month. And I've been working them very aggressively, okay? So what I've been doing, my Tinder sequence, and this is in Portuguese, but I'll just say in English, I say, you are really pretty, I wanna meet you, okay? Then whatever they reply doesn't matter. I say, it's easier to plan something over WhatsApp, because in international countries they use WhatsApp. It's easier to plan something over WhatsApp, what's your number? She gives me the number, I say over WhatsApp, hey, it's John from Tinder, when are you free to meet up, okay? And then um, you either can propose meet up to the house or meet up in public, okay? In most countries, like in America, I always propose straight to the house. In general, I always propose straight to the house. But here um, in Braticus, the other day, coach, he warned me about this. He spent a few months here, closed like 50 girls across different cities of Brazil. He said that about 15% will meet to the house. A lot of them are down, like, I think almost every, yeah, I think, I think every chick I've brought home from public is closed. But, is that true? I'm trying to think. Were there any chicks? Yeah, I think they all closed. Yeah, there, there's, like, but no, that's not true. The girl that was here last night. She didn't close? No, 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 she, the very first time when we were at our first place. There's, a, there's actually a couple instances. But, um, Okay, but in general, they are closing here from the public day, but, but he said like 15% will meet to the house. But what I found here, and if you're in like a, a country where the, it's, it's mostly like a safety concern or like a cultural thing where they're like, why would I go to a stranger's house right away? Um, they get like scared. This is like a global thing. Um, and I try to smooth that. Oh, there's security in my building. Oh, I have a, a balcony or this and this, whatever. We're on a balcony so it's not in public or we have a terrace or a pool, so it's not in public. Technically, I mean, so it's in public. Technically, like it's not my private residence. Technically, ha ha ha. Little stupid things like that. But the quick coffee or whatever I found uh, is a better play here because I've lost some girls where I've suggested, "Hey, come to my place. I have a balcony," um, and just straight off the bat, "Oh, I think we're looking for different things," or "Oh, um, I'm not that type of girl," or whatever, and they block you. So I've had that happen enough. So. Like last night's close, it's 12.14. I've slowed down a little bit because there was, I had a new threesome Saturday uh, with the chick that I made the last video about. And she is pissed because I went to go see a different chick <laughs> while the two girls from the threesome were here. Like in my bed. I went to go meet a different chick that was pissed because she couldn't see me the night before. Drama central around here lately. So she's upset that I disrespected her going to see another girl, blah, 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 blah. She'll watch this video and bitch me about that. But, <clears throat> anyways, uh, yeah, I've been having repeating a lot of stuff. But, <laughs> it sucks when it, I don't want to like censor my words to my, to my audience over a trick or two. Um, but, yeah, the point, the point of this video is to, get, to cut to the point of all this. That was a strategy to work volume, because I was originally, originally only planning to be here a month, okay? So I wanted to work the leads quick and fast. Okay, so for each exchange, like for each back and forth, there's a time delay where she can go cold. Okay, let me repeat that again. For each back and forth, like I see, I'm, I'm super, super against like long exchanges on these dating apps. Why is that? Because with each back and forth, Okay, you have no idea what's going on in her life, or there's shit going on in your life right at that time too, right? Like say she just had a quick minute to text you. Does your text want to be 
asking her for her number so you can get her off the app okay, where, where she's just getting inundated. If she's even a little bit pretty, she's getting just inundated and has a million options on there. Do you want to get her off the app and onto a text platform where you have a better chance to get her to meet up? Or do you want to have a back and forth conversation spanning weeks okay, that dies at some point? Most of, the, most of the text threads in these forums is guys having these like endless conversations leading to nowhere. Okay, my, my stuff is very succinct. Um, so now I'm, I'm expanding my, okay, so what is a soft close? I should have said that up front. A soft close is when you invite the girl to do an activity, but you don't set exact plans, okay? So you say something like, let's get a drink sometime, let's get a coffee sometime. Speaking of which, make sure. Okay. Yeah, mine's at 7.30 now too. We both got 7.30s now. Those are originally 7. Um, okay. Um, hold on. Uh, <laughs> guys, I'm like, dude, it's so funny you don't cut out shit when I'm like working these and stuff during the videos. Okay. Um, Okay, so soft close, it, it just asks them, do you want to get drinks sometime? And I, and, I, and I don't phrase it as a yes or no, I just say let's get drinks sometime, let's get a coffee sometime, let's meet for X activity sometime, okay? When they agree to that, of course, the next logical progression is to get the phone number. So they're going to agree to the phone number. When they agree to the phone number, it's going to set you up for them to tell you when they're free over text, okay? It's, it's all one big, like, baby steps compliance slider, okay? So, and I'm not gonna go over like the rest of my like formal tech sequence that's in my Leads Machine product, but it's all building a compliance slider. So like basically, you hit them with something that's provocative, they reply, that gets you like your foot in the door. Then since they reply to that, of course they're gonna wanna reply to your next thing because it, it leads right into it. And then of course they're gonna wanna reply to your next thing and, and agree to meet up with you. And then of course they're gonna wanna agree to give you their phone number, and then over text, of course they're gonna wanna agree to meet, to set plans. And then you just stack up your week with dates. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, tomorrow night, I have like three boom, 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 stacked back to back to back. And that's that. So I want to make this video about the importance of soft clothes. So this is like kind of two different strategies. The first one, I was asking for a big compliance ask. Like say I'm like, you're really pretty, I want to meet you. And the girl's like, hi. Or that was a lot of their responses, hi. Boy in, in Portuguese. Hi, and I'm like, it's easy to plan something over text, what's your number? And that would freeze a bunch of them, right? Because they're like, I don't know this guy, we haven't had any conversation, I don't know who this guy is, right? And then there's that whole category of girls that had bad experiences giving out their number where a guy became a stalker, et cetera, et cetera. So you're battling that as well. Um, but I was using that strategy because I had so many leads and, and it served me well. I think I arrived at like 1189 and I'm at 1214. Um, Three, three, some so far, almost five. Two that were set up that fell through. Uh, uh, well, I'll tell that story on the video I made with the girl. Um, we were supposed to make it after three, some this weekend, and then she left because I went to meet the other chick. <laughs> yeah, I had to have my buddy here boot, boot, out, boot them out because I ended up bringing the other one back. Um, quality problems. So, uh, in short, Make sure that you are doing that soft close. It's a huge key thing. You don't want to just say, hey, let's go out for, uh, let's go to this place at 730 or, or just ask the number. Because when you just ask the number out of nowhere, even though I was doing that, I was doing it as a high volume strategy. That's a bigger compliance ask than saying, let's get coffee sometime. Because of course, if they agree to get coffee sometime, then they're going to want to give you their number. If they give you the number, of course, they're going to want to set plans. Okay, so this is all a probabilistic set of moves that's going to keep your funnel wide as you get down to the closest, okay? So I want to make that video really quick. Um, let me know in the comments what other topics you guys are looking for. I have a bunch of ideas in mind, but I am back on top of more regular videos. And there's all kinds of beautiful beaches around this island that I'll bring my camera to come into and make videos on those beaches as well. Okay? Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.